here's an altered book I'm making. It's almost done. And um, I went over an old tourist book. I think it was a tourist San Francisco book. It was kind of a hard cover. The pages were sort of not so hard magazine-y type pages. And then I covered all of them with newsprint or pieces of book pages. And I painted them. So that's how I worked out the page system. And then a lot of them fell out, so I ended up sewing them together and making signatures. And then when the spine fell out, I put a, under here, under this blue, is a um, Snyder's pretzel box, because it's pretty big. This is like eight, 11 and a half by eight, and this is two and a half inches wide. Then after all that, I put cardstock around the spine, covered everything with more cardboard, and covered the whole thing with wax paper that I painted blue, blue colors. I kind of like it, it's pretty cool. Anyhow, this is sort of autobi or biographical, like, yeah, autobiographical, that's right, um, because it's kind of crooked and not perfect, and it's turned out that I didn't know what I was gonna put in here, but it ended up making a poem about me and plein air painting so, like, for example, this page is supposed to be the Sierras. And then I glued magazine that looked like the Sierras. I don't know where it really is. And I had to paint the sky to match up. And it's on some black kind of sparkly tissue paper. Then here's the magical poem that talks all about plain air and me, and what I like to do and how I like to look at everything. And I could put, like, maybe a still at the end of it so you could read it. My dog in the background. Anyhow, this is a silhouette of me. Kind of looking up or something, and I'm waving my hand, and I'm kind of happy. And this is gold leaf over the pages that were glued, and then yellow. I think yellow and blue look nice together. And I decided to use gold leaf because, I don't know, I wanted it to feel special. <laughs> Sorry about that. Shh. Anyhow, this is a page about um, a storm coming up. See the clouds? Very abstract. And I really like these rough edges. In the book, it looks pretty cool, see? And this is a page about the sunshine. And I'm really into sun. <laughs> it's real sparkly and happy. And this is a page about the granite rocks up in the Sierra. And there's my red hiking shoes that I try to wear when I go up there. I get a good grip. They're really nice. And gray socks with pink. The page is not finished. So we're sparkly red tissue paper on top of... I think there's newsprint under here. These are parts of little palettes. Sometimes I use paper plates or just paper. And this is going to be two pages of that. Just paint. And my neighborhood of cows. I think first I started just like drawing with a Tombow ink pen. And then the black won't come off. But then I went around with some green acrylic. Scott, the clouds are blue wax paper left over from the cover. Some white acrylic, some texture paint. Looks, looks pretty great, pretty cool. Shh. Sorry. And this is a page about a tree with no underwear. It rhymes in my poem. Shh, babies. And I even used embroidery thread here. And these are acrylic skins. It's just real colorful and happy. And this is a trifold of a place I like to go in the Sierras. I think it's called River's Edge. I don't know. And it's real sparkly in there because everything's dappled lights. And you can, I use sparkle paint from the dollar store, which just comes out clear with sparkles in it on top of everything kind of bushel together. And here's the outside of the trifold, which I think looks... Cool. You can see all the different elements in there. Paper, paint, collage, glitter. 
And here's me again. I'm in a storm with my paintbrush, pointing at the sky, I'm fearless. And I put gold on me, gold leaves, because I wanted to feel good about myself. Sometimes I don't. And I think that's many artists or people with ADHD. Anyhow, this is me looking out my binocular. And in the middle, I had a fuse. I think I used nursing tape, like the paper tape. Or it's fabric of some kind. And this is like part of a calendar. Cut out me clouds. I'm kind of happy with this page. It looks sort of expressionist German or something. Part of my poem is me laughing at the sound of dragonflies, which kind of makes sense because... I don't know, artists pay attention to everything. And this too is, you know, fabricated, all put together and haphazardly, but it's the fun of it. This is the purple mountains because they're close to the sky and the light. Things kind of hit the mountain and make it look purple. Bounces off, anyhow. I even put yellow, sometimes there's yellow in the clouds. I like it. Kind of like one of my plein air paintings. Me. Cartoon version of me. <laughs> and I got a landscape for the top. <laughs> and this is sort of how I like to look at things, you know, through my hands. Making like a little rectangle shape to kind of look at shapes or whatever. Sort of fun. And here's the back page. Voila.